I'm Andrew, one of the guitar techs here at Cordoba Guitars. I'm here to talk about the difference between good buzz and bad buzz on nylon string guitars. Keep in mind there's a difference between classical and flamenco style guitars. Typically, you don't want any buzz on a classical style guitar, like the Solista I'm holding right here, which is why the action is set higher, about 3.5 millimeters measured at the 12th fret. That's the distance from the bottom of the string to the top of the fret. And here I have a 55 FCE, which is a flamenco style guitar, and the action is set lower, about 2.7 millimeters, measured at the 12th fret. So what is good buzz? Good buzz is a short, concise buzz or a snap at the initial pluck of the string, sounding something like this, with a clean sustain afterward. Many flamenco players like buzz like this. It gives it more of an aggressive sound, similar to distortion on an electric guitar. Uh, this buzz is caused by the fret briefly contacting the strings close to the note that's played, as well as how hard the string is plucked. And here's Dave to show you proper flamenco technique. So what is bad buzz? To a point, tone is subjective, so what you think is good or bad is up to you. But if you're watching this video, you've experienced what you would think is bad buzz. So bad buzz is uh, a long lingering buzz or a dead note with no sustain, sounding something like this. And yeah, that sounds bad. There are many causes for bad buzz, such as high frets, back bow, dirty strings, or even loose electronic components rattling around. Most buzz can be fixed by changing the strings, adjusting the truss rod, or raising the saddle. If you need help with any of these adjustments, making them yourself, you can go to our website, cordobaguitars.com, or feel free to take your guitar to any Cordoba dealer and they'll help you out. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.